Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, April 27th, which means we get to celebrate Babe Ruth. So this is a baseball player. Legendary proportion here, guys. This is, if you haven't heard of Babe Ruth, I think everyone's heard of Babe Ruth, whether you watch baseball or not. He was, of course, from Baltimore. His first team was the Baltimore Oriole, Orioles. I'm going to miss speak today. Baltimore Orioles. And I think he started that one in 1914. He was born in the eight, late 1800s, started baseball in 1814. And then he really made a name for himself with the Yankees, the New York Yankees. Um, he won four World Series. I think it was, okay, I wrote it down, 714 home runs and 2,062 walks. And that means like you're able to get a home run without actually having to run for it. Technicalities or whatever, but it's most complicated. Which totally makes sense though, because you've seen how many games they play per season. I think it reaches hundreds. Like if you were to actually go to the World Series, you play hundreds of games in one series. I mean, in, yeah, in one season. It's insane. They play so many games. I think more games than any other sport. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the case. But man, you have to be in some good shape to do that, right? You think? I don't know. As far as food goes today, there's prime rib. Oh my God, I need some prime rib today. That sounds delicious. Or devil dogs. If you don't know what devil dogs are, they come in a little package just like a Little Debbie Snacks, but it's not a Little Debbie Snack. It is like chocolate brownie substance on either side. It's more like a cake substance. And then it's like a sandwich with cream in the middle. Oh my God. They're addicting. They're horrible for you. But if you have some, you have an excuse to eat them. <laughs> um, it's also mammal rescue today. So keep that in mind. Save the mammals. Not just humans, all mammals. <laughs> and then Today is a unique day for Spain. I don't know if Cuba, it's really happened in Cuba, but it happened so long ago. It was in 1898. There was a mule in Cuba, northern shore. And during the Spanish-American War, this mule died from a bombing. It was in Matazna, Matazna. I think that's how you pronounce it. I apologize, but I don't. So they're called, the, it's called the Matazna Mule. And because it died during the bombardment of Cuba, the Spanish decided to wrap this mule in their flag and give it a full on military funeral. There was 200 people present at this funeral for this donkey. And they remember the day that it died, today in 19. Oh, was it 1898? It's April 27th, 1898. Um, I don't believe this mule was special before the bombing, but now it's renowned. So there you have it. And if I'm wrong, let me know. <laughs> but yeah, that's from what I read about it, that's what it sounds like. So, and of course, it is special to the to Spain because they had control of Cuba during the time so it was the Spanish American War not the Cuban American War um, it's also a day to recognize Morse code and what it brought to the world Morse code was invented by Samuel Morse in 1836 of course Morse code is electrical pulses that travel along the line and they have dots or long pulses and between those, the mix of them, they define letters. And from those letters, you get words, and then you can send messages back and forth over long distances. In 1836, it's pretty much their first telephone or texting machine. I don't know, however you want to put it, but that's pretty awesome. Huge innovation for that time period. Um, and then it's a day to shout out for school bus drivers. So shout out to y'all. Have a great day, guys. Happy Tuesday. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.